I'm Alex Marson. I'm a physician scientist here at UCSF. For decades, when we've thought about medicine, we've thought about pills. That started to be revolutionized in the 70s and 80s with the advent of recombinant DNA technology. For the first time, proteins became medicines. We thought about antibodies and hormones. And now we're really in the early days of a whole new revolution where there's a whole new class of drugs that are being developed, which are genetically modified cells. These cells are really a living drug. Patients are going to go to their doctor, have their blood drawn. Immune cells can be taken out of their blood and genetically modified outside of their body. And these genetically modified cells can then be reinfused into patients to treat a wide range of human diseases. This is not science fiction. This is actually happening. In the past couple of years, there's now two FDA-approved genetically modified cell therapies, CAR T-cells, that are approved to, to treat certain types of cancer. In these approved therapies, the cells are genetically modified with viruses. The problem is that these viruses have a whole no host of limitations. They're extremely expensive to make, they're time-consuming, they're laborious, and they're actually not very precise in the ways that they make modifications in the genome. My lab here at UCSF has developed a new approach using CRISPR gene editing technologies. What we're doing is actually using CRISPR to go in and cut and paste targeted places in the human genome to reprogram human immune cells so that we can really enhance the capability of immune cell therapies. We can not only remove genes, but we can start actually fixing, fi fixing mutations that cause disease and even inserting whole new genes at precise places in the human genome. A colleague of ours at Yale heard about what we were doing and recently contacted me to see if this CRISPR technology could help a family of patients that he's seeing. Three children in this family have mutations in a gene that cause severe and early onset autoimmune disease. We've actually been getting now blood samples from these children mailed to us, it, and we're going in and using CRISPR to fix one of the mutations that causes their immune cells to malfunction. Now that what remains is to go to the FDA and get approval to see if we can actually reinfuse these genetically modified cells back into the children to treat the underlying cause of their disease. For families like this, where there's a rare genetic mutation that causes a problem in one specific immune cell, we can track that down and fix it. For more common types of disease, we're actually thinking about ways that we can write whole new genetic software and install it into human immune cells. We're thinking about programs that we can write into human immune cells that make them supercharged to find cancer and eliminate tumors. Ways to make human immune cells resistant to viruses like HIV. Ways that we can program immune cells to be better at treating autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's disease, multiple sclerosis. And we're even thinking about how we can write programs into immune cells to make them treat diseases that we don't even associate with the immune system. Can we make immune cells that are programmed to fight cardiovascular disease, prevent heart disease, to treat neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's? We're really imagining the sheer possibilities of what genetically mod modified immune cells might be able to treat. UCSF has really unique strengths in synthetic biology, immunology, gene engineering. Putting these things together, along with really a constellation of partnerships here in the Bay Area, with the Innovative Genomics Institute, the Parker Institute for Cancer Immunotherapy, the Chan Zuckerberg Biohub, UCSF is poised to emerge as the leader in a new class of medicines to treat a wide range of human diseases.